Hi everyone, this is Sagar Shah and I'm here with a new chess based tutorial. Often what happens with me is that people write mails and they send me their games to have a look at or they just have played a beautiful game and they want to share it with me. And so a typical mail looks something like this where the writer, the sender has sent me a database here. But when you look at it, it is in .cbh format. Now let me save this. Now when I actually go and save this game and I click on it, it actually says that it is not a database. What happened over here? Well, in Chessbase, there are two ways in which you can email your games. Now, you need to understand the different kinds of databases. Now, when I'm creating a new database, let me name it as Sagar Opening Database. You will see that I have a drop down menu here, which is either CBH, PGN, CB1, Cloud, Old Database, Books, and All Databases. Now, let me first tell you what .cbh is all about. So when I create this database, it will work flawlessly on my computer. Now when you actually go to the place where you have saved this database, you will see that there are several databases of the same name which have been created. And this is quite confusing for a lot of people. However, you will see that this is the main database and when you go into properties, you will see it's .cbh. When you open any other database, it will say it's .cbg. Now, if you open another one, it will say that it is .cbe. There are many different such databases like .cbt, .cbf and so on. And all of this, which when they come together, they make one database. That's why when people just email only one file, which is .cbh, it is not going to open. So what do you do in this instance? Well, one way is that you can right click on it, go to tools and you say backup database. When you click on backup database, it will say archive database uncrypted. You say OK and you create a new one. Now, what has happened? Let's have a look. You see this database which is created over here is now nothing but .cbv and cbv database has packed together like a zip file all the other databases. Now, you can safely email just one database and when the person whom you have emailed clicks on this, it will actually open up all the files together and he will get all these 9 to 10 files in his computer. The other way to work is when you create a new database, instead of creating .cbh, you create a .pgn. So, now you will see that this is a pgn file and I can email this directly because it doesn't require the entire set of CBH files to open it. PGN is a more universally accepted format to share games. However, there is a small catch. Open a PGN database and you will see that at the top, there are only three tabs, text, games, openings. Also, the amount of things you can do with it is limited. But when you open a CBH file, you will see there is text, games, players, tournaments, annotators, sources, teams, game title, openings. This means that when you create a database in CBH format, it allows you to do a lot of different things as compared to a PGN file. However, when you create a CBH file, you cannot email it. You must pack the database. The way to pack it is either by right clicking it going to tools and backup database or directly from here clicking the shortcut control plus z and it will create an archive database the other way is to create a pgn file which we have done here which can be directly attached to your email and sent 
there's one other thing which I wanted to share with you which is a very quick way to share games using Chessbase 15. Now if you don't want to email something to someone but just that they want to have a look at it then you can open a database. Now let's say these are three games then you can select all three with Control A, right click on them and on output you can just go and say publish to web. It will ask you one click publication you say ok and it creates a unique URL. It creates a URL by which you can actually just share this URL through mail, through WhatsApp and people can go through these three games. But remember in order for them to download the PGN file they may require a Chessbase account. They can download individual games from this button over here or they can download the entire database from here. This becomes a very very ideal and easy way to share games. All you have to do is right click, uh, is open a database, select any game or games and right click on them, go to output and just publish to web. Well, is email the only way in which you can share databases? Not really. The other way are cloud databases over here which Chessbase has introduced so that you don't have to keep emailing your friends. But this is a topic for another lecture. This is Sagar Shah signing off. If you have any questions related to emailing your games or sharing it with your friends, please let me know.